Hello and welcome to Bloom and Great Books. Today we're sharing our six top quarantine reads, all picked for pure escapism. So um, on to our next uh, quarantine read. So this was Convenience Store Woman. Mm-hmm. Um, so this was recommended to me by a friend a while ago actually, and he was a little bit nervous in recommending it. It was like, oh, it's a bit odd. I don't know if you like it, but and absolutely loved it. Um, another very pacey read, really interesting insight into Japanese culture and, and just a totally different um, setting to, to the books I've read before. Um, yeah, I loved it. I mean, I hadn't heard of it actually till you'd mentioned it to me. Um, yeah. But in, interesting, I thought it was super, like I really wanted to keep reading it, but then I don't now thinking back, was it pacey? I mean, like it was super engaging and I wanted to know what happened to this woman and whether she mm. decided to conform to the society norms or whether she just stayed being herself and did what she wanted to do with her life, which was such an interesting point. I think that's why I found the book so compelling. But I don't know if yeah. I would say it was necessarily pacey. Do I do? What do you think? Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's not like there's loads of stuff happening in it. It's actually quite nice. It's actually quite slow um, in terms of the events. Like there's no big catastrophic event that happens in it. It's more detailed description of what of a minute section of someone's life, isn't it? Yeah, which again, I guess... Really link- engaging. <laughs> yeah, really engaging. I think, it, I think that again links to our, which is probably a subconscious reason why we've chosen all these quarantine reads, but that does again connect sort of this idea that Bel Canto explored, which is you actually see a very small portion of a life or of lives. And you see yeah. her, you know, she, is she going to conform? Is she going to do, is she going to, is she going to be normal so that people around her feel more relaxed yeah. being around her? And I am so glad that like the, the book sort of followed the trajectory that it did because at some points I was thinking, oh no, don't conform. <laughs> like everyone, yeah. everyone's telling you to do. And, and like, I guess we all do do that to a certain degree. And it's kind of through literally everything she does every day and why she does it and and she you know the timings and and like how she works in this convenience store um I just thought it really opened my eyes actually to thinking about life and purpose and what is success and I think it does that so well where this woman is amazing at her job and yet everybody around her is basically saying you should get a proper job and how she yeah. does that yeah definitely and actually just to your, to your point about life and purpose I mean that's something right now it's really interesting to think about that in the context of not going out to a job as normal and not having all of the distractions and the busyness that perhaps you can sometimes confuse with purpose yeah you know doing what you need to do but you're not having those same interactions it it it, i'm so i've certainly have had thoughts of like well you know what is my plan of my life where am i going what am i doing um so that was very interesting and as you say she's somebody that finds immense purpose and meaning in her little slice of of the world which is in this convenience shop um which she talks about almost as like a living organism that yes you know with the beat of the shop and the till and she knows how to delight the customers but in a very mechanical way and she's super organized and she takes delight in um the process and the systems and 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 making them as efficient as possible um which is really interesting isn't it because uh, we would typically look at that kind of job as less successful or less meaningful or um yeah I feel like that's what it did really well is because it it also made you think about what your preconceptions are of a person who works in a shop as example because that's where she works or you know do you do you think that that's a career and do we judge ourselves on our careers which obviously I think we do a lot of the time and like this idea of yeah a successful purposeful life I yeah. think another really clever thing that this book did, um, actually, because it's very, it's very humorous, it's very like light in a lot of ways. Yeah. And I think, but it really hints at things that are, almost because she doesn't herself as a character think things that are happening to her are negative. So you, yeah. don't, you don't get as overwhelming sort of a bleak read as you would if she, if she really was like, wow, this man is taking advantage of me or, or whatever part of the book you're thinking about. Like, I think... In that way, it's quite it's quite a lighthearted read, but it's not. It really hints at this deeper, you know, she, it, is she going to conform? Is she going to do? Is she going to? Is she going to be normal so that people around her feel more relaxed being around her? That's a really good sort of. Point. Yes, and, and yeah, totally, and that and that so ties back to this, your life purpose. I think so many people can 
you could look back over your life and think, well, how, how have I made decisions based on the people that are around me and who I spend most time with? And actually, if I'd been on my own in isolation and just listened to myself and my instincts, would I have made different choices than if I'd gone to that university or, or been in that job with those people? Um, so I thought that was really interesting. And, and the journey that she goes on where she's just trying to get people off her back and explores that conformity, but then has this big resurgence at the end and feels really empowered and like, you know, she's she's renewed and just being herself is really inspiring. So inspiring. I am so glad that like the, the book sort of followed the trajectory that it did because at some points I was thinking, oh no, don't conform. <laughs> like everyone, yeah. everyone's telling you to do. And and like, I guess we all do do that to a certain degree. And it's kind of, you know, that, that really highlights in the book again in kind of a lighthearted way that you really should think more about. What yeah, and it is really funny as you're saying. And I mean, the relationship that she sort of bizarrely totally bizarrely gets into yeah it's it's almost like such an extreme parody or, or critique of what happens to so many people where you get to a certain age and you just want to have kids and maybe you don't even consciously know you're doing that but you do maybe leap into relationships because it's the right time and it i would i would be so interested to find out more about this author um and her views on feminism and relationships and yeah. things like that because I, you know, I, I found myself thinking, how much is this to do with Japanese culture? How much to do is it with this, you know, with how this woman feels about um, life and, and purpose? Because it, because so many questions in that, isn't there? The kind of the blandness of the people with the babies and um, how easy it is for her to pretend to be like them just by saying the right things. Oh Even yeah, sure. She learned to say that she doesn't mean any of it. She just learned robotically the right thing to say and the right thing to do and the right noises to make. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting. I think, you know, her character, you know, if you, if you, I feel like when I was reading it and I was thinking, if I had met her in real life, would I also judge her in the way that a lot of her friends are judging her? And um, sort of this, and, you know, she she is interesting because she she does sort of, as you say, just answer the way she, sh- she thinks she should or the way she's learned. And she always says how her sisters tried to make her more normal and, and how a lot of her concerns really aren't about herself she's concerned that people are worried about her. So she changes yeah. to get into those environments. And I just think that's, that's, what, that's what we all do to some degree. It's just a very, yeah. it's a very- Gosh, like, how it is them it. worrying about what other people expect of us or, or want. It was also interesting because she describes herself as quite a kind of robotic person with void of a lot of those feelings. But actually, as you say, everything she does in the book is, is designed to try and make people around her feel more comfortable. So she's yeah. extremely, at least concerned with others, if not naturally empathetic. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like she's learning to be human. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, um, exactly. And by doing, in doing so, she's sort of exploiting a lot of the comical sides of the, of what our, our ways of conforming are. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought, it, yeah, I thought it was great. It's, it's so quirky. And as you say, it's, it's sort of, you know, because it's about Japanese culture, that's also another interesting spin the book yeah um and it's very it's very subtle very enjoyable but also does really bring up some really important questions i think yeah definitely and god it's so inspiring i mean you know the the joy that she gets and in doing her job well and having that routine and that system i think all of us can can um i think that resonates with all of us and with me I, i sometimes think you know when i'm in office jobs and things like Sometimes I was never happier than when I was doing bar work or waitressing. Oh, okay. You could do a great job, you could exceed expectations, and then you're done and you can leave it. Whereas a lot of our jobs are constant and you never feel like you finished and you never feel satisfied. And actually, maybe she's achieved real success because she, she is proud of herself and she is fulfilled every day by doing these mundane things really well and, and throwing herself into it. I think that's yeah, a particularly I- interesting point right now, you know? Yeah, and I think that this idea as well of like it being mundane and you know, isn't everyone's job like an element of there's an element of mundane yeah. to every single job and you there is always parts of your job you find more boring and and how amazing that she didn't really view any of her job boring she literally yeah. was like and how upset she would get when she went into a different convenience store and they went upselling you know the the food on sale or it was just so good because I feel like actually and that this is nothing I think which they did really well which maybe taps into this idea of success. When I was reading it, I was thinking, 
how is she not manager of like multiple stores? Like she knows everything. She is on it. Yeah. She's very quick to change things when they need to be changed. So I think that's a clever undertone as well. Like actually, she could have achieved more. She was better yeah. than, than the one job that she had, yet she was happy with the job she had. That's why she stayed. Yeah, I mean, well, also, you know what it's like when you've got a gorgeous little coffee shop or something and then they, they get successful and they make multiple chains and they're never going to be quite the same as that little one that was on the corner. So maybe she's, more, you know, the most enlightened out of all of us, really. Just, yeah. So just understanding her place in the world and, you know, it's, it, it comes back to that thing we were saying with Alan Button and that, that bravery in the mundane and, and in mediocrity. Mm-hmm. And actually, if you can come to terms with the fact that you're not super special, you're just what you are, what joy and fulfillment can come in life just by being. Yeah, just by being. You know I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Love so it. a really good quarantine read. Um, really, really engaging. It's really short. I mean, I read it on... Um, kindle so I, I don't know how thick the book would be but it's not many pages at all is it no i read it on kindle as well actually um no but it was i mean i think i read it in an afternoon because i was just like wow what is happening and how does this end what does she do yeah. so yeah. go and get it now fantastic read